everyone, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks. Today I'm going to introduce an exciting new product called the Satellite Optimizer, which addresses a number of different um, problems that are encountered in uh, data communications over narrow band and broadband devices. Uh, so here's a little product here, and uh, this exciting new product, as I mentioned, uh, solves a number of different problems. But before I talk about this problem, or talk about this product, let me uh, do a little bit of history here and uh, uh, describe some of the issues that users currently have trying to do data over satellite phones. So, uh, historically, when you had a computer and uh, wanted to do data over a satellite phone, you had to deal with the USB connector. So, most satellite phones connect to the internet via a USB connector which plugs into the device, and then this connector then plugs in to a particular phone to do the data. So here we have an Iridium 9575, which is the new Iridium satellite phone that was released earlier this year. And uh, this would be a typical setup that you would use. Now this particular setup has a number of different issues. One, it requires that USB drivers be installed on your computer. Uh, this causes a problem for many users. Uh, there's compatibility issues. There's different, different, different versions of Windows and different versions of Mac OS X. Not all phones are compatible with the different OS's. And so just getting over the hurdle of installing the USB drivers into the satellite phone caused providers and users a lot of heartache and, and many times results in failure and, uh, unable, and users were unable to do data over their satellite phone. The other problem with this particular setup is that most modern computers, Macintoshes, Windows 7 specifically, um, are designed to work over the internet. So, when a data link is brought up over one of these slow, one of these slow phones, um, then what happens is all these programs, whether they be virus updates, Windows updates, Adobe Acrobat updates, Flash updates, and so forth, um, all try to get onto the internet to see if there's new versions of that software available. And what they do is they bog down these connections. And so just a little bit of information here, this particular phone, which is state of the art, um, is about 20 times slower than a dial-up connection and so consequently it's uh, quite slow and expensive to use and so when you have all these programs that are trying to access the internet over that slow connection um, the contention causes your effective bandwidth to be a lot less and consequently it costs more money and takes time and in some cases as in the Inrosat ISAT phone that I've got here uh, it's almost impossible if not impossible to do data over that link without actually having something that filters out all that traffic. So that's the second problem that we have, um, which is common these days in satellite communication. The other one is uh, for mobile devices. Uh, here's an, my iPod Touch and uh, my iPad right here. Uh, users that want to do uh, vessel communication over their iPads or iPhones um, can't have, can't do it because there's no USB connector on these devices that allows you to connect to these, to these particular phones. And so the third problem that we have is that of connectivity between uh, our mobile devices and our satellite phones. So, in order to address all those particular issues, we've invented a new product called the Optimizer or Satellite Optimizer. This is a small Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, it's about the size of a deck of cards, and it does a number of different things for us. For one, you notice that it has a USB connector. So now, instead of plugging in the satellite phones into the computers, we plug them into the Wi-Fi hotspot. The drivers for all the common satellite phones, including all the ones that I have here on my desk, um, are included into the optimizer. So there's no software to be installed in the optimizer to drive the phones. All the drivers are already in place and it knows how to communicate with all these phones. So, what does that do for us? Well, it's a Wi-Fi hotspot which allows us to use the Wi-Fi on our computers and on our mobile devices to connect to the device. So, since there's no cable associated with the connectivity to the phones, it's all Wi-Fi, we now have access to a number of different devices that we didn't have before um, that allow us to do data over these phones. Again, there's no installation of USB drivers on any, of the, on any of the computers, and so consequently a large number of computers that had issues with phones, specifically again the ISAT phone, um, now are accessible to these particular devices. Another wonderful 
thing that this device does is that in addition to managing the USB connection or the, <coughs> the data connection for the phones, it has a built-in firewall. So this built-in firewall is designed to block all traffic going to the internet except for optimized email and optimized web browsing. So <coughs> contention by other programs on the local network are totally eliminated. So you get the maximum bandwidth out of your device using the optimizer because those Windows updates, those Adobe uh, Acrobat reader updates, all those other programs that are sitting on your computer or on your network uh, are filtered out and only the data that you want to, trans to, to transfer over the link, which is your compression-based email, your weather, and your web browsing, um, go, go over that link, again, providing you with the optimum performance that you can expect. The device runs on 12 volts, so it's powered with an AC charger that comes with it, or if you're on an, in an automobile or on a boat, you can wire it directly into, uh, into the vessel. It is a Wi-Fi hotspot, so you can use this to share your connection or your local area network with any number of devices. So if, you, if you're an iPad user, an iOS user, you could use printers, for example, for printing. It also has two Ethernet ports on the back. One of them can be connected to a WAN connection or a broadband connection or some kind of um, wide area network uh, or your uh, network at home, allowing you, this device to be a router gateway to the internet. It also has an Ethernet port which allows you to connect directly to an Ethernet port on a computer. So if you've got an older computer that doesn't have Wi-Fi or if you don't want to broadcast Wi-Fi, you can just directly connect to the Ethernet connector on the back. So in the next few videos, um, we will be discussing how to set up the software and the device itself to communicate over the satellite link. But um, oh yeah, let me mention one more thing here before I go. Um, this device also supports older style phones, for, specifically, for example, the uh, 95058. Uh, these devices require RS-232 interfaces. They're not USB-based interfaces. For that, we have a special cable, which is a special USB cable, which would plug into your RS-232 interface and then plug into the USB port on the optimizer itself. And so that gives us a wide range of satellite phones, including all of the Iridium phones going way back to the 9500, which was a Motorola phone, which was the original Iridium phone, all of the Global Star phones, the Raya, the ISAT phone, and um, so pretty much any fairly modern satellite phone that has either RS-232 or USB connectivity can be used with this particular device. Again, also, the device works with broadband devices such as BGAN, Fleet Broadband, Iridium Open Port, and VSAT. So if you're a BGAN user or a Fleet Broadband user, although you wouldn't be using the USB connector in order to do your connectivity, you would still want the firewall capabilities that filter out everything so that you don't get unexpected airtime bills on those particular broadband devices. Anyway, so that's it for the optimizer right now. Um, I'll be back shortly with a number of different videos on how to install, configure, and use uh, our optimization software with the optimizer to provide you the best performance you can over your satellite link. So until next time, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks wishing everyone a great day.